Hello everybody, this is not Mega for Playstuff TV, bringing you yet more TF2 action. This is map 2 of week 1, FMU vs. Playstuff. Uh, the first map was went to, of course, in strong favor to Playstuff. It was uh, actually a 5 0 uh, uh, victory for them against uh, a fancy military unit. It looks like um, all the players are, fine, uh, are in the server. Um, some excellent chat going down, I must say, um, in the time. Uh, that we've been waiting for this match to get started again, but it looks like in the next 20 seconds or so the game will be uh, getting going again. Um, having a look around, yes, it, at least the map has just started now, so we're going to be watching play stuff and Almighty Bob rolling out as the demo man is trying to catch up with them, shall we? Alright, the priest is going to be uh, following through, so it, it looks like they're taking down the main route. And uh, let's switch to a whole cam so we can see what's going on. So the scouts are about to meet. They've passed each other, so it's scout on Demo Man for Almighty Bob. This is quite a challenging match. And oh, Priest gets from behind, but he hasn't seen the rockets that are coming in, so the Priest goes down very quickly to the Cooper's rockets. Um, it looks like we've had a bit of a class change. The Heavy has switched up. Um, Jepapa Sunglasses, the Heavy, is switching up to a scout. So, um,. That might work in their favor if it depends um, on how well they move together. And Playstuff haven't actually captured that point, have they realized? I think they're just pushing ahead and going to leave a scout behind. Yeah, you can see Apoc there. Um, Playstuff have, of course, pushed ahead. They've still got the engineer. The engineer attempting to set up, but loses his, um, the control point is being contested. And loses his dispenser. More than a storm cloud of hanging over his head for that. Looks like, yeah, Playstuff have got the position, but, um, yeah, the priest, and it looks like all the action's happening further up, and the scouts come in, and a very quick cap before the respawn can actually happen. So let's follow a fancy military unit with their line to the front. Um, Driftstein is taking up the role of demo this time. Diddy Slayer switched over to Pyro, so a mixture of classes coming out from this team. Two soldiers on the other team, a pyro could be a good move, but uh, with two scouts, it's a bit dangerous for a pyro. And the priest wins the scout battle, and it looks like playstuff are in the middle quite comfortably. Um, the medic might go down without going to use Uzu. As Sarek comes in, Sarek's outmatched. He has to switch to his sniper, and he does get the medic kill before he goes down, so that is a big move. Um, now, I'm not sure if the soldier should keep pushing. He did get a very good position, and to be honest, there was nobody to jump up there, so that was quite a smart move. Um, it looks like uh, the APOC has gone ahead, and really on top of capturing these points, and the strategy from Blaze are coming out quite well. And it's the scout vs. scout battle, oh, and Priest comes in to uh, make it a 2v1, which is a little hacks for it, in my opinion. Okay. And the last point, I think one of the scouts went underneath. But it looks like a uh, fancy military unit got guarding that point from all angles quite well. Um, soldiers are scared to come in. I think Almighty Bob might have overextended. He needs to get back out. But it looks like Cowmoker comes in with the 100% Uber. <laughs> and uh, the spy goes down for a fancy military unit, making it two rounds to zero. Let's go back to um, watch play stuff roll out. Guy Fawkes apparently disapproves. I'm not sure of what. Um, and it looks like we have a scout soldier. Uh, sorry, a scout and a soldier of medic or scout of pyro. I just have to watch and see what they're doing. And, uh, that was a bit of a brutal rocket roll. Loads of gibbs going around the place. Very good jump from uh, to Cooper, getting a great position. And Sarek, a little bit out of his mind, couldn't uh, spot everything around him uh, in all the confusion, but um, manages to keep kept alive by Cowmug. Uh, and uh, it looks like the push has gone ahead for the second point, so this is a very fast onslaught. It's going to be a full cap, and as those players come in, they run forward, and it looks like it's uh, 6v4 for the moment, and the Uber comes in. You see, this is... Um, they still are getting a lot of wins, but sort of to get mid with the um, kill their players, run forward, and to get second, get the position there, 
and um, all the time only a stream of players coming through to contest them. But of course what that means is by the time it's third point time they have a full uber, which is a very dangerous thing to have at last point because it caps it so damn quickly and all you have to do with the uber is just push them out of position, your scout comes in and takes the point. So things working out very well for playstuff tactics there. Um, no jumping going on, so the will yeah, fancy military unit will arrive at the point later. Just that scouts for the moment to um, take on six players of play stuff, and they hold them back at the corner with a lot of splash damage. But actually, I would say the fancy military unit are in a better position now than they've been in the past two rounds. That's three rounds, sorry. And they're holding this corner well, but it's only a matter of time before the scouts come around the back and just take the point. Oh, and a very good jump forward from Serik. Oh, sorry, from Sloth, but he gets exploded. And so Cooper doing a good job, actually. He manages to slow things down as much as possible. He was completely outnumbered there. And we're going to have a scout off here. And Jafar, with sunglasses the heavy from the previous round, going toe-to-toe. -to -toe with the priest, scaring him off and causing him to go back for medic. He should go back to the point though, he can't do anything whilst there's so many players out there. Maybe pick up reinforcements if he finds them, but um, it's a bit of a high risk strategy. So, place that's not pushing forward too confidently, the uber goes down on the scout as a desperate measure, but he does get the pick on the medic as he goes back. Um, there's a back cap going down from the scout of the fancy military unit. Uh, Almighty Bob in by himself and he's dagging down so it's a good defense from fancy military unit here. Uh, now switching up that spy to a sniper. Fix your server. Uh, I think he's been subbed in actually so they uh, obviously have a few people in spectator who are willing to uh, sub in at any moment which is a great sign of a strong healthy team. So they've managed to push out the soldiers there by himself but three players come in at once and uh, take him out. The medic goes out by himself to just to try and edge that cap, but it does still take a few seconds to cap. Um, so the chances were quite low of that happening. And play stuff. I mean, the control point is being contested. And there's the cap. It looks like the uh, sniper was taken down with ease. Um, and it was his job to get that point, but of course once the scout comes from that low ground unannounced, then it's very difficult for him to do so. So, play stuff on a uh, match point, as it were. And let's uh, let's see from middle who comes in first. So it looks like the scouts taking our opposite paths again. So we're not going to see a scout path. Um, play stuff in the middle. It looks like the fancy military unit have switched up again and got a heavy now. They're going to try and push this corner, but a lot of splash comes in and down. But they managed to take out the guys. Um, oh, very good bounce there. And this heavy is causing a dispersion. The soldier dropped down to the lower level, unable to contribute further. But Almighty Bob, with a few overplaced pills, sees off the threat. And it looks like they're going to push forward. That soldier, not with enough health to jump, can't really do anything against that scout if he stays up on that level. And it looks like the Cooper Trooper is taken down. And with that, that signals the charge for place to go in. Oh! And a beautiful sticky trap from the drift team. Takes out Sloth. He was not expecting that. He's got another sticky trap over here. The heavy medic team coming in. And the back cat coming down. Uh, from Guy Fawkes. Let's see. Is he going to get the whole thing? Oh, that is a shame. Right. That would have been a very good play. Um, just to keep out of range of that medic. Sometimes the Hoover saw seems like it's about 30 feet long. It looks like the Uber scout coming in. Cowmugger figuring what the hell with four games up, right? <laughs> oh, beautiful one. Hey, Park. Absolutely wonderful to be um, Had the arrogance to bat the heavy to death. Slower. The scout did get out, so he's going to he's going to have to be dealt with before he goes in. Um, but it looks like well, oh, an impressive play from the priest managing to take out the heavy before he was finally taken down. And but not an impermeable defense, 
and the stream of scouts coming through, managing to take the point, leading to a 5-0 lead in the second map. Fancy military unit versus play stuff. Uh, week 1, E2F2L, Season 13, 6 versus 6. My god, there's a lot of stats to this, isn't there? Well, I'd like to thank all the players for playing, and I'd like to thank all the guys for organizing, particularly uh, to Cooper Trooper and uh, Almighty Bob for uh, organizing the teams together. And it's GG's call from all the players for all enjoying themselves. Um, Sloth appreciating the friendly banter and the uh, good humor of Fancy Military Unit.